کریں شروع کر تو لوگ قریب بیٹھتے ہیں یا ویسے بیٹھے رہے کیونکہ تشکیل تو پھر کیسی ہوگی اگر قریب ماشاء اللہ کم کلوز اپ برادرس جزاک اللہ جسٹ اے شارٹ وائل فار اور افطار اردو میں کرنی انگلش میں انگلش کتنے پہ افطار ہے افطار سے ففٹی پہ تو پانچ سات منٹ پہلے تو تشکیل کے ساتھ سفر کر اس کی دعا بھی کراتے ہیں بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد ونسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد مائی ریسپیکٹیڈ برادرس یہ تو بڑا وہ لگ رہا ہے قرآن پڑھ رہے ہیں میں بات کر رہا ہوں اچھا میں نے کہا بے ادبی نہ ہو جائے موسی صاحب قرآن پڑھ رہے ہیں تو مائی بے برادرس دس لائف از سیلف از ویری ویلیوبل اینڈ دین آؤٹ آف دس لائف اللہ ہیز گیون اس این اپرچونیٹی آف دس منتھ آف رمضان وچ از سیلف از اینڈ واز ویلیوبل اینڈ دین آن ٹاپ آف دیٹ دا لاسٹ ٹین ڈیز دیٹ وی آر ان اردو میں کہتے ہیں سونے پہ سہاگا دا بیسٹ آف آل دا لاسٹ ٹین ڈیز میں اللہ کی بس توفیق دیٹ وی ویلیو دس ٹائم دا ہول لائف از ناٹ جسٹ اباؤٹ رمضان رمضان از ناٹ جسٹ فار رمضان دیٹ ڈے آئی واز ٹاکنگ ٹو سم یگسٹرس اینڈ آئی سیٹ اے پرسن چارجز از فون and the phone battery goes up 100%. As soon as he disconnects it, it goes down to 10%. He will be worried. There's something wrong with my phone. You know? We have to look that, mashallah, we get so hyped up, charged up in Ramadan. Is it all for Ramadan? Is the purpose to charge the phone while the phone is connected to the charger? No. The purpose is that you charge it enough that it lasts you for a day, two days. The purpose of charging ourselves of our Iman, our Ibadat, our Itaat with Allah was so that we remain charged for the rest of the year. So my respected brothers, may Allah give us the true understanding that why Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not order something for the sake of ordering it. There is a reason behind it, and that reason has to be achieved. You don't go to the doctor for just for uh, sake of an appointment. You don't get the prescription just for the sake of having an appoint a, a prescription. Don't bring the medicine home just for the sake of it. Don't eat the medicine for the sake of it. There is a reason behind it. You want to get better. And if that medicine does not make you better, then you get worried. You phone up the GP, you phone up the doctor, make another appointment. I've used it for a week, but my cough is still on. My symptoms are still on. Because there is a reason, and the reason is not being fulfilled. What's the point of taking the medicine? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us this month so that we get closer to Allah. Taqwa. ہمارے بھائی امین صاحب رحمت اللہ علیہ فرماتے تھے کہ روزے سے روزی کیسے روزے سے روزی کیسے روزے سے تقوا تقوے سے روزی روزے سے ملے گا تقوا اور تقوے سے ملے گی روزی ہاں تو دا پرپس آف آف دس منتھ واز واٹ از دا پرپس آف گوئنگ ان اے شاور دیٹ آئی گیٹ فریش I get rid of all my sweat and all the, the uh, I've been working all day long. I get freshened up and uh, I get cleaned up. So brothers, the purpose is that we live in this month that when we come out of it, we come out so fresh that all my gunas are forgiven. Um, I come out with a new intention, with a new life. 
our connection with Allah is not just for Ramadan. Namaz, ask Mufti Sahib, Namaz is not more farz in Ramadan. Kate hoi, roza rakke jhoot bol raha hai. Ab hai jhoot to aisi bhi haram hai. Ke roza mein zada jhoot haram ho gaya kya? Roza rakke jhoot bol raha hai. To jhoot to aisi haram hai. Oi, masjid mein jhoot, oi, jhoot to jhoot hai bhai. Masjid mein ho ke bhaar ho. So the namaz does not become more zaruri and farz in Ramadan. Mashallah, getting a chutti, getting on time, come home, put your, uh, put your jubbad on, and mashallah, go. very good, alhamdulillah. But is this just for Ramzan? Is this my connection with Allah only for Ramzan? Do I need Allah only for Ramzan, or do I need Him 24-7, every second of my life? Can a baby survive without the mother? Bolo? No. The baby needs the mother all the time. More than that, brothers, we need Allah 24-7. Allah is my Rabb, the one who, it's not my mother who created me. It's Allah who made me. It is not my mother who gave me the, uh, the uh, eyes that I have and the ear that I have and the pumping heart that I have and the breathing lungs that I have and the functioning body that I have. It's Allah who gave it. Allah gave it. I need to recognize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today we say, by the code, this is a month of Toba, do Toba, Toba. Oh, wait, Toba on what? Repent on what? Ek admi kata, Jeko ji, mene to haj bhi kiya hai, mene to paanj vakki namaz padta hu, mashallah, mene to ramaz ka masjid, kata Toba karo. We need to understand, we need to sit with our ulama and our Allah and our hadrat and let's understand okay, what am I doing wrong? What is this ummah doing wrong? There are certain infradi, individual responsibility. My yaqeen with Allah, this heart, this heart is the, is the dwelling of Allah. As the ulama write, this is the maskan of Rabbul Alameen. This is the dwelling of Rabbul Alameen. No other should come here. No other should come here. This heart belongs to Allah. The yaqeen of my heart to Allah. Allah is the doer. Allah is the giver. Allah is the taker. Allah is the one who is running everything in me, outside me, inside me and the whole world. Every, every particle is under, in, in Allah's control. Do I recognize Allah the way Allah? What is Iman? Amantu billahi kama huwa bi asma'ihi wa sifati. Yes. Not the way I know Allah. That is not Iman. The way Allah is that we believe in Allah. The way Allah is with his sifat, with his attributes. What Allah has done, what Allah is doing, what Allah will do. So that is the first fault that we have today. Abu Darda radiallahu anhu is a big sahabi of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa And he says that in Medina I met 18 big sahabas of the time of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and I found them all worried about their iman. Hey Allah, they are the sahabas of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went away happy with them. Why are those sahabas worried about their iman? And how much worry should we have about our iman? Hunky dory, eh, hey, mashallah, I'm a Musalman. You go to somebody's gush, knock the door, kate, eh, bhai, I'm Musalman, eh, yar, kya, aap, aapko kafir tam jau hai, jau aagi jau. He doesn't need to know. He's happy with his iman. And yet the sahabas, the big sahabas trained by Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are worried about their iman. So first thing to do, toba and repent is on the iman that what was demanded by me. From Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my Rabb, my Khalik, my Malik. To believe in Allah, the way Allah is. Why do I miss my namaz? Why do I miss a lot of things that I'm supposed to do? Is my deen only namaz? Only this month of Ramadan? No. These are the pillars. 
यू मेक द पिलर एंड से आओ हमारी मस्जिद देखो उसने कहा मस्जिद क्या है भाई साहब ये तो चार पिलर खड़े बिल्डिंग तो पूरे का नाम है हमारे रब का तो हुक्म है उत्फुलू फिलमी काफा बंदे बनो अल्लाह के दीन में पूरे पूरे दाखिल हो पांच वक्त की नमाज के बंदे नहीं रमजान के बंदे नहीं पूरे पूरे दीन में दाखिल हो कंप्लीट दीन दैट इज द अदर थिंग वी नीड टू डो तो आई एम लिविंग माई लाइफ आई वाई द लाइफ ऑफ नबी सल्लाम बिकॉज अल्लाह डज इट एंड अल्लाह डज By the way of Nabi, amal of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We bring the amal of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Allah promises barakat in this life, happiness in this life, contentment in this life. Allah will solve our problem through the amal of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is another thing we need to do. Toba. Allah, I'm weak. I try to walk, then I fall. forgive me i make a niyat somebody that day i said to somebody man ka mashallah dekho you come into the masjid in ramzan doing your namaz inshallah 20 rakat of tarawih all standing up from the beginning and after asar sitting and doing your quran so what's the plan after uh, ramzan get a dog back to normal back to hey 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 this is something we need to do toba this life that we live in ramadan is the normal life this is the life of a momin halal becomes haram after that one minute of seri now you can't eat this is the height of obedience nobody is watching but namaz my alarm goes off <coughs> seri time finished i will put the the the, the most beloved cup of tea doesn't matter now i have to do my kulli and dam i no 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 this is the height of that taqwa and obedience that allah is training us in this month this is what allah is requiring from us not just for ramzan so this is another thing that we need to do toba on ke allah this should have been my life 24/7 outside ramzan they say you live the life of ramadan you live the life of not in ramzan live your normal life as ramadan live your life as ramzan and your death will be your day of eid you know how we are looking for for eid and some mashallah one young guy in our place first tarawi came and he said uncle what what day will be the eid oh maine kaha beta you have been even kept a fast you have been even read one tarawi and you are worried about eid but the human nature is looking forward to eid he may have to take his holidays or buy clothes or whatever this is how the people of iman who lived their life of iman will look forward for meeting allah because that will be my day of my eid who not happy on eid everyone happy on eid that's why nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam said lisaimi farhatan farhatun indal fitri wa fil farhatun inda liqa'ir rahman two eids one happy occasion when you open your fast now mashallah pakore samosa all day have fast and then one final eid will be the day when a person will meet his rab on the day of qiyamah so this is a thing to do toba allah my life should have been like ramadan 24/7 i did not live it hey allah forgive me so these are the individual responsibilities i have to do them nobody does it i have to do them but then my brothers this ummat of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has got a collective responsibility if you look at the system of is our deen everything you will find is more virtuous if you do it together if you do it together eat together live together so much virtues of meeting each other assalam alaikum somebody gets ill go and visit them just care for others because nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught this ummah you are one body you are no separate separate mind your own by business yeah this is not mind your own business ummah i come to the namaz read my namaz go home hum ki dori subhanallah mashallah mir sahab i'm not doing anything wrong 
This is the biggest wrong that I am doing. That I come to the masjid, I know. My, don't mind me saying it, brothers. After namaz, we look at, mashallah, so many people. Wallah, brothers, if you look with reality and you start going for gasht and visiting the houses, you will realize there are so many who don't come. Who don't come to the masjid. This is our collective responsibility. This was given by Umar Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Hey Allah, we people, Gunagar people, live in this country. We die to go to Medina. Hey na? You die to go to Medina. One of my relatives, old age lady, she was saying to her children, Medina, Jana, Jana. She went for Umrah. They were only had five days in Medina. The poor grandmother wanted to stay longer because she was looking forward to die in Medina. 89 year old. So we have this. But tell me one thing. The person who was the host of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, why is he not in Medina today? Why is he? What is he doing in Istanbul? Hazrat Abu Yuvan Sayyidi Allah. Hey Allah, if I get somebody, if a Budur was to stay in my house, I would never even sell a house. Hazrat Hamari ka tarete bhai. Ye kamara to make isiko samal nika nede ta hadrat hai nahi yape. Bonogi barkat. What the barkat of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And there's that person of the host of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Madina is not in Madina today. And somebody said, okay, when we go to Jannatul Baqi, stand at the, at the gate of Jannatul Baqi and ask a question to yourself. Where are those sahabas, the loving sahabas of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Why are they not in Madina today? Why the graves are everywhere? Because this is the collective responsibility this ummah was given. This ummah was ukhrijat lin nas. This ummah was brought out for the benefit of the mankind. Not just sitting ummah. This is a walking ummah. We have to go around the world worrying about the ummah. We, we don't live an individual life. Hamari infradi zindagi nahi hai. Main mere bimi mare bache. Is why the duas that we do now. This is the days of duas, nights of duas. It is the haq of the ummah that we do dua for them. Ye kya baat hui? Shuru kiya, ay Allah mujhe maaf kar de, mere bibi wachon ko maaf kar de, bas in ko maaf kar de, dua khatam. Ummat kaan gai? Where is the dua for the ummah? Ummah needs dua today. We can't go to them. They are being oppressed, they are being killed, they are being tortured, we can't go there. We can do help them with dua. Lekin hamari dua to apne bhi khatam ho jati. Because we don't understand our collective. Is this not something to do toba? Allah created this ummat ukhrijat linnat for the benefit of mankind. I don't even know the name of my neighbor. Hey, bhai, I tell you, we do a short uh, dars, a Quran, uh, five minutes after Talavi. Whatever is read or take a point out. One day I said, brothers, I know I'm talking with this collective. Masjid was a place where you meet each other, find out about each other. I'm like, now, most of us, we have our fixed places for Talawi. Manika, you will come, you have done your 15 days. Come, read namaz, 20 rakats, stand there for, 20, for a whole hour and a half and go home. Didn't even say salams to each other. That day, a doctor came to me after. He said, Dr. Saab, after you said this, today, I first time in 15 days said salams to the person who has been reading with next to me for the whole one and a half hour 15 nights. This is how selfish this we have And we say, Toba kis baat ki kaun sa guna kar ke hai? This is the guna. This is the wrongdoing that we are doing. We create, we were, the sahabas left Medina for the worry of the ummah. And where is our worries? This is why brothers, this work of Dawat, it gives you your talim in the masjid. Then worry about your sati in your locality. No Musalman, Musalman stays bein amadi. Talim in the houses, so no lady, no children become stay in bein amadi. This is our zimmedari, and we are doing fault in this. We need to do toba. So for this, brothers, we need to do toba, and the toba sincerity is that you change your environment. And Mufti Sahib would have told you the famous hadith of Toba that that man he did Toba on his 99 plus 1 killing, murders. And then he was told, no, don't stay here. Go to the people of the pious. 
The environment must be changed if you want to keep your toba. Why are we so, mashallah, so good in Ramadan? Because there's an environment. Look, mashallah, made a mahal. Everyone come sit and read Quran because the mahal of Quran. Try and do it outside. So mahal will protect my toba. That is why they say, go in the path of Allah. Spend some time in the path of Allah. So that we stay strong on our toba. That I come out of Ramadan with the state of toba that my life is changed. Then this, I full understand what is going wrong with me too. today. Ummah doesn't understand that toba kis ki karey yar. Mawli sahab ko koi guna guna na khasa guna karke aaye kya? Ha, toba toba toba. But toba on what? We need to understand. So for this brother, this request that we need to change our environment. Be in that environment of Iman for certain days that we come back strong with our Iman, with our Amal, with our understanding my responsibility as an Ummati. Conditions, if you go out, brothers, are not good. They go, bhai, hum apne badon ko bhi kehte hain, chhoton ko bhi kehte hain. Hum aaj ye in cheezon se mutasir na ho jayen. Kya hamari masjidhe baut badi hain, hamara ye, hamara wo. اپنے محلے میں ایسے ہمارے بچے ہیں ابھی دو چار دن پہلے کی بات کرو تھوڑے دن پہلے کی نوجوان بچہ ہے کہتا ہے ڈاکٹر صاحب مجھے اب جھک ہے پتہ نہیں اسلام میرے لیے ٹھیک مذہب ہے کہ نہیں ہے کیا جواب دیں گے اللہ میاں کو ہم تو مسجد کے نمازی تھے پوچھو مفتی صاحب تھے قیامت میں پڑوسی سے پوچھیں گے تو نے رات کو پیٹ بھر کے کھایا تیرے پڑوسی بھوکا تھا کیوں نہیں اس کو پوچھا ایک روٹی کو پوچھیں گے پیٹ خالی تھا قیامت میں نہیں پوچھیں گے تم نمازی تھے تحجد گزار تھے ہر سال عمرے کرتے تھے حج کرتے تھے تمہارے محلے میں بے نمازی تھے کیا فکر کی تم نے میرے پیارو یہ توبہ کی بات ہے حالہ ہمیں معاف کرے we don't understand our ism اس کے لئے توبہ کرنی بھائی it's up to us آخری بات it's up to us how we come out of Ramadan چلو بھائی اللہ میں آپ just forgive us whatever انشاءاللہ we'll see back to normal live back to normal ہاں If we sort ourselves with Allah and with our deen, our life will be sorted, our akhirat will be sorted. We want to live the way, may Allah forgive us all. So for this, brothers, we need to, mashallah, make some intention, go in the path of Allah, change our environment, change our, so that not only I become strong, hundreds of people will, hundreds and people will come on Tawbah, do Tawbah, mashallah, come on the, on, on the path of Allah. So for this, mashallah, make a couple of minutes, inshallah, give your intention, then it's dua time. قبولیت کا وقت ہے بھائی تو انشاءاللہ give your نیت انشاءاللہ جلدی جلدی بتا دیں ماشاءاللہ those who have never been the youngster sitting here never been go for three days see it what it is انشاءاللہ look like he's never been have you been ماشاءاللہ then ماشاءاللہ more intense longer 40 days, mashallah. This man with the Quran. Hafiz Zakaria. Mashallah. Muhammad, how long have you been? 40 days. Allah has said, mashallah. The man going on the 27th, 28th, June as well. Imran, right? اللہ قبول فرمائے چلو بھائی ابھی انشاءاللہ بھائی آپ نے خود یہ جماعت کی فکر کر لیں ٹھیک ہے جی نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کی دعا ہے دیکھو اللہم ارین الحق حقا ورزقنا اتباعہ 
دیکھو ہمارے بدر فرماتے ہیں جب ہم مولانا ابراہیم فرمائیں گے اللہ کے نبی کی دعائیں بھی کیسی ہیں تعلیم ہے اے اللہ مجھے حق کو حق دکھا دیکھ لیا پھر کیا ہوا نہیں نہیں دکھا کے اس پہ چلا تو یہ دعا مانگ لی آمین کہہ دو اللہ ارین الحق کا اللہ ہمیں حق دکھا کس رستے پہ چلنا چاہیے تھا مالک نبی کا امت ہی بنایا تھا کہاں چلا گیا میں مجھے توبہ کی توفیق عطا فرما دے زندگی میری بدل دے آپ کے سامنے پیش ہوں تو آپ ہم سے راضی ہو جائیں ہے نا اس پہ چلا ہمیں یہ نہیں کہ سن کے پاک گھر چلے گئے سن کے گھر نہیں جانا سن کے زندگی بدلنی اللہ ہم تو آپ کو توفیق عطا فرمائے اللہ من تسلام امن کا سلام تبارک تیاد الجلا علی علی کرام اللہ صلی اللہ محمد علیہ وبارک وسلم یا رحم الراہمین یا رحم الراہمین یا رحم الراہمین اے اللہ ہمارے اور ساری امت کے گناہوں کو معاف فرما دے اے اللہ امت کے مردوں کے امت کے جوانوں کے امت کے بوڑھوں کے امت کی عورتوں کے اے خدا ساری امت کو معاف فرما دے اے ہمارے خدا تیرے پیارے نبی کی امت اے ہمارے خدا امت کا حال بہت خراب ہو گیا دین چھوڑنے کی وجہ سے ایمان چھوڑنے دین چھوڑنے کی وجہ سے اے اللہ آپ ہم سے ناراض ہو گئے ناراض ہو کے حالات بھیج دیے اے اللہ ظالموں کو مسلط کر دیا اے اللہ مظلوموں کی مدد فرما اے اللہ وہ مظلوم ہمارے مسلمان بھائی بہن عورتیں مرد جہاں پر بھی ہیں دنیا میں اللہ ان کی مدد فرما اے اللہ ان کو اپنے ایمان پہ قائم رکھ اے اللہ ظالموں کو آپ نے پہلے بھی توبہ کی توفیق دی آج کے ظالموں کو بھی توبہ کی توفیق دے دے اور اے اللہ ان کو بھی اسلام میں داخل فرما دے اور جو ڈھیٹ ہیں جن کے قسمت میں ہدایت نہیں اے اللہ ایسوں سے اپنی زمین کو پاک فرما دے اے اللہ ان سب کی مدد فرما اے اللہ ہماری عورتوں کی عزت کی حفاظت فرما مردوں کی حفاظت فرما اے اللہ ہمیں رمضان سے ایسی حالت میں نکال ہماری توبہ قبول فرما ہماری باتت قبول فرما ہماری زندگی کے بدلنے کا مالک فیصلہ فرما دے ہمیں اپنی سچی توبہ کی توفیق عطا فرما ہمیں اپنی خود اپنی زندگی کو بدلنے کی نیت کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرما اور پوری زندگی اے اللہ نمازیں پڑھنے کی قرآن پڑھنے کی تیرے گھر میں آنے کی اور آپ کے راستے میں نکلنے کی اے اللہ ان کی اعمال کی توفیق نصیب فرما ہمارے بیماروں کو شفا صحت عافیت اندوسی عطا فرما اے اللہ جن کی بیماریوں کو ان کو پتہ ہی نہیں ہے ان کو بھی شفا عطا فرما اے اللہ قرض داروں کے قرضوں سے خلاصی اے اللہ اپنے غیر سکی محمد احتیاج سے نکال دے اے اللہ اپنے غیر سے کسی کے محتاج نہ فرما ہمیں اپنا محتاج رکھ موت تک اپنا محتاج رکھ صحت کے اعتبار سے مال کے اعتبار سے اے اللہ ہمارے جوانوں کو ان کی جوانیوں میں جو اپنی شادیوں کی عمر تک پہنچ گئے بچے ہیں بچیاں اے اللہ نیک سالے اولاد ان کو اے اللہ ان کو عورتیں عطا فرما اے اللہ نیک سالے رشتے عطا فرما اپنے گھروں میں آباد فرما جو ان کی شادیاں ہو گئیں اے اللہ ان کو ان کی اولادوں کو نظر بس سے برائی سے اے اللہ جادو سے پتہ نہیں کن کن برائیوں سے شیطانی کاموں سے اے اللہ سب سے ان کی حفاظت فرما اے اللہ ہماری اولاد کو ہماری آنکھوں کی ٹھنڈک فرما ہماری مسجدوں کو ہمیشہ کے لیے آباد فرما ہمارے بڑوں کی علماء کرام کی زندگی برکت عطا فرما ان کی قدر کی توفیق عطا فرما ربنا تقبل منا ان کا انت سمیع العلیم و طب علینا یا مولانا ان کا انت طواب الرحیم بحرمت سید المرسلین و علی علیہ و صحابی جمعین آمین برحمت کے یا رحمت